like I said, I've already pre-shuffled, and I'll be using two oracle cards for your recent pass. They're the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then I'll go through the present, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why this is all happening. Okay, so once again, this is a bonus reading. So, Gemini, in the recent past, we have true love. This romance is, this is the romance of a lifetime. True love. And then we have act. On the flip side of this card, it says act. It says, charge forward when we combine action with unwavering faith the power of grace will meet our needs so in the recent past you probably experienced true love or or some type of connection that felt wonderful it felt like the real deal this was the one okay that's what it felt like and maybe that's what it was and so it made you feel so great um, you moved forward. You you charged upward right ahead and you kept going with it. So you had some type of unwavering faith. And the relationship, it felt like a great connection and it felt like uh, it was meeting all of your needs. So that's what those two cards are saying basically for your recent past. Now we have present time here. We'll move on over. And uh, what we have for that is the Five of Pentacles for your present time. For your present time. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Now, to explain the Five of Pentacles, it, it's about a time when life is feeling less than secure. The important thing to do is to remember, remember that there is always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen you probably are feeling alone but you have the capacity to change that reach out if you feel like you're being left out in the cold as though everyone else in the world has everything and you are the only one suffering realize that this is not the case so make sure you do the best you can with what you have but remember the wise thing to do is if you need help go out and ask for it because the because when you ask for help um, it will come okay and when we talk about love and relationships and you get this five of pinnacles it's not a particularly happy indicator when it comes to love questions. It could mean that you may have your eyes on someone who, who you feel is not treating you the way they should. It may be that you need to stop fantasizing about this person completely. This card can be very much a card about feeling left out in the cold. It's important to remember that there is never only one person that we can be with and have a soul level happy, meaningful relationship. Because when love is right, you will not have to do backflips to make it work. So try to broaden your horizons and try hard to think positive. So that is what the Five of Pentacles. And it's paired with the Ace of Pentacles. Now with the Ace of Pentacles, you could be finding that you're, you're enjoying a new beginning on several levels. This is a very positive new beginning. You're likely to be feeling optimistic and upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things should be going well. You also could be starting something new very soon. This could be in the area of work or personally. But either way, it's a good thing. When you're asking about relationships and you get the Ace of Pentacles, if you're committed, it, it will be rising to new and better heights really soon. The two of you will reconnect. If you're looking for love, 
and you're single, Geminis, this is a very positive time to get out and meet people. Something new could start that's very promising in terms of love. So be prepared and just think positive. So with these two cards paired together for your present time, we have the with the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, um, right now you could be feeling like like I said, the Five of Pentacles was about being feeling like you're suffering and possibly left out in the cold. So I don't know if someone's mistreating you or or something's going on that's making you feel it's making you feel pretty bad. Uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully you're not being mistreated. Because if you are, this Five of Pentacles, it, it explains that you should stop fantasizing about this person. And that there's much more, better things out there. Even if you're with a soulmate, there's more than one out there too. So, um, so you, you're feeling kind of left out in the call, just mistreated. And if you see the picture of this card, this lady, she's walking away. She's not going inside that door. She's, she's leaving. So that's what the Five of Pentacles but you have this Ace of Pentacles, some type of brand new beginning, positive. And it's making you feel very optimistic and hopeful about a lot of things. Uh, so something happened with this Five of Pentacles that uh, it didn't happen. It didn't stay that way for long. Unless you left the situation and you went towards a, a new connection or, or, or someone else. You went towards someone else and it caused you to um, have a better connection with this other person or either, either the same person. And it caused some, um, a brand new feeling, a uh, fresh new start. Um, it caused a lot of positive and um, and it brought your happy back. So, yeah, at first you were feeling alone, left out in the cold, but thing, things turned around with this Ace of Pentacles, either with the same person or either with someone else. And that's for the present time. Now, let's move on over to how the person that you're dealing with in the connection, how they see you. They see you as the Queen of Swords and the Two of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords, it can point to a woman in your life. This woman is not to be trifled with. She'll have dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. She can point to a need for you to be forceful and honest in some excuse me, in some situation to get your needs met. You may need to put your foot down. The Queen of Swords can indicate that your instincts are serving you well. You already know what it is you want and need. Now you just have to go after it. This Queen has a very forceful energy. Forceful which some people find abrasive. When, when you're asking about love and relationships, the only caution with this queen is to be aware of the impulse to be too forceful. We all been told that you get more bees with honey than you will with vinegar. You've heard that saying. Well, there's some truth to this. There is some truth to it. Keep in mind with this queen of swords, you may have a mother or mother-like figure that wants to interfere in your relationship. Whether she means to or not, 
she's going to interfere at this time. So figure out where your boundaries lie with this person. And you're going to have to let her know. So your person is seeing you as needing, as needing to be forceful. Or they see you as really just not taking any mess. Yeah, yeah. They see you as being abrasive about it, also. So you're just not having it. That's how they see you. Whatever's going on, you're just not having it. You're cutting it out. And being that it's paired with the uh, Two of Swords, which is about Two of Swords is about a good connection romantically especially for a romance that's already in existence now this two of swords can signify that your relationship will move into a lighter easier more balanced phase with treating each other as equals and if you're looking for love in a relationship take a good hard look at yourself to see if you have any outstanding emotional issues that need to be dealt with So, like I said, your person is seeing you as a queen, as this queen of swords. You're just cutting out anything. You're not having whatever whatever your person is trying to bring to the connection that you're just not dealing with. You don't feel like dealing with. You're being forceful about it, and you're cutting it out. And being that it's paired with the two of swords, it's actually helped the connection by you being this way, because. The, the relationship it, ha it has moved on to a lighter, easier, more balanced phase so you cut out certain things you were forceful about what you weren't weren't going to stand for um, and it, it actually like I said, it helped the connection Yeah, it took it to a more balanced phase so now you're tr you both are treating each other more equal so if you haven't done this, maybe that's what you need to do but that's how they're seeing you in this connection. You're not taking it, taking any mess, and it's it's actually helping the relationship. That's how they see you. Now let's move on over and take a look at how you see your person in this connection. You see your you see your person as the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is about spending time, money, and energy on the home. Getting it to be more comfortable. This is a good thing provided you don't take on too much debt. People will be looking to you for insight at this time. You will be able to help them if you decide to do so. This is a time period when you can get a whole lot accomplished. When it comes to love questions, relationships... It's a very feminine card. It points to strategy. Particularly, especially, particularly for those who are not currently involved. So for you single Geminis, it's a good time to be strategic, it says. Yeah, it's, it's uh, about being strategic. But the strategy is to, f to find love is the stereotypical feminine one. Don't chase it. Make yourself available. But don't be too desperate to bring someone into your romantic life. When the time is right, that's going to be made. It's going to be made abundantly clear to you. And you will not have to do backflips to make something come about. So be upbeat. And know that you have many things in which you have to offer. Many things that you... In which you're worth loving. So you see your person in this connection as wanting to spend time, money, and energy. They, you see them as wanting to uh, accomplish this connection. Yeah, so you see them as planning, being strategic about how to keep this connection going, how to keep it strong, how to keep it um, more comfortable. That's how you see them. 
Uh huh. Yep. And so it's paired with the Ten of Pentacles. Now, to explain the Ten of Pentacles, this is a very happy indicator when it comes to love. Now, if you're in a relationship, it can mean that it's going to move to the next level. Living together, engagement, marriage, childbirth, all those things, all these things can be an indicator by this card. For a time, you are likely to have a very peaceful, happy period in your love life. So enjoy it. Make sure your lover knows how much they mean to you. If you're not in, in, if you're not in a relationship or you're single Gemini's, this card can mean that a new love may come into your life so fast, it's going to make your head spin. So you need to be open at this time. So you're saying your person in this connection is, like I said, wanting to accomplish the relationship. And they're, they're putting in a lot of time, money. They're being strategic. They're going forward. And it's paired with this Ten of Pentacles. So it could also move to the next level. You see the real, you see um, them as wanting to take it to the next level. Childbirth, engagement possibly, or moving in together. So this is not bad how you see them at all. It's pretty good. So, let's move on over. To, let's take a look at why it's all happening. It's happening because the Ace of Wands, and then we have the Seven of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands is about new beginnings, positive ones. They're sometimes in the realm of accomplishments and are often related to work or career. If you're having a difficult time, just know that things are likely to be getting much better very soon. This card is about upbeat, optimistic, and being hopeful about your future with a very good cause. So you're likely to be feeling quite energetic and positive, or you will very soon be feeling that way. The Ace tells you that now is a good time to start something new. With uh, love and relationship questions, it indicates new beginnings of a new love relationship headed your way. So make yourself available for love in whatever way makes sense to you. And if you're already in a relationship, the relationship could undergo a new beginning and will rise to new levels of understanding. So it's all happening because uh, you and the person that's in this connection, you're actually upbeat and optimistic and hopeful about where this relationship or connection can go. So you, yeah, you two or you or your person, you're very energetic and positive about the connection. So you feel like you could continue, continue and move forward. And being that it's paired with the Seven of Wands, uh, Seven of Wands is about not hesitating to speak your mind because you know it's going to improve the relationship or you hope it will. As long as um, you or your person is considerate of the way in which you speak your mind. So, and if you're single and you get the Seven of Wands, it's an indicator that you're about to meet someone new away from your usual search. So you need to try something new. Uh, Seven of Wands is also about competition. So you could have some type of competitive situation at this time. But overall, you'll be feeling really good about things and projects. They'll be moving right along. So that's what the Seven of Wands is about. So it's all happening because uh, you and the person that you're dealing with uh, you're, you're both really optimistic and hopeful about where this connection can go. And um, being that it's with the Seven of Wands, uh, once again, you or your person or the both of you, you want the connection to move right along. Um, you're, you're communicating because you got this 
Seven of Wands. All right. You're speaking your mind. Your partner, your partner is probably speaking their mind uh, to improve the connection. And if you're not, that's what you should be doing with the Seven of Wands. So, yeah. So, whatever's going on in the connection, you or your person or both, you're feeling any type of fears and you're doing it anyway. You're moving along anyway because you both want the connection to move forward. So that's why everything is happening in this connection. So, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed this reading. There's going to be a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. I am wishing you a very, very happy 2020. And I also want to say that I hope you have a beautiful February.